In the last video, you heard about using the timeline from left to right to go past, present, and future. You can also use the depth of your stage. You can use the back of the stage to talk about going in back in time. You can come forward to bring it to present or future. And it can also help you set yourself up to step forward to make your key point. I always like to step front and center when I make the key points in my stories. Another way to use the depth of stage is to convey some emotions without describing the emotions. You could talk about how you were having a really rough day, uh, you had just lost your job, your uh, partner broke up with you, you lost your dog. I mean, it sounds like a country song, I know, but step away from the audience. It creates that distance because when we're having those negative emotions, we do feel distance uh, from people. As your story improves, your situation gets better, you feel happier, something good happens to you, walk forward and you're reconnecting with the audience. It's subtle, subliminal, but it's very effective to disconnecting and then reconnecting with the audience to convey the emotion. In the next tip, you're going to hear about the third dimension you can use. Not most people do it, but if you use this, it will help you stand out even more when you tell your story. Talk to you then.